know, I wanted to jump on real quick and just talk a little bit and just touch a little bit on intuition, you know? How do you receive your intuition? How do you perceive your intuition? What do you feel like is intuitive? It's a question I have for you. What would you say would be the difference, divine, between your intellect and your intuition? Much love. Hey there, Charlie. What's going on? What's happening, family? Divine day, sun rays. Divine says, I was thinking of intuition today and how our intuition is affected by trauma. Mmm, do explain. Do explain, because that's going to tie in. That's actually, that's actually a beautiful segue. But explain what you mean by that. How do you feel your intuition is actually affected by trauma? How do you feel that? And how do you heal that? You know? How do you feel that and how do you heal that? And how do you reveal that if it is you who concealed that? Intuition affected by trauma, affected by drama. This is a really, this is a nice topic. I like this. I like it with the, where this is going. What's going on, Luna Rose? Much love to you, Carter. Hey there. So what would you say would be the difference between your intellect and your intuition? You know, some people talk about intuition as those gut feelings, you know, their, their gut instincts, their intuition, following their gut, being guided by their guts. If you ever felt like you had gut guidance, you just felt something deep down in your gut. And you followed that feeling and later it was revealing that you were following your intuition. You stayed on mission, right? And you saw that thought that was planted come into fruition. But what is the difference between intellect, intelligence, and intuition? Divine says some say trauma assists our growth in intuition. But I feel otherwise at times. Mm. And what would lead you, pray tell, pray tell, divine, what would lead you to, to feel otherwise? What would lead you to feel otherwise at times? When you say that trauma assists our growth, in what way does it assist if it persists from what it consists of, but you feel otherwise, you feel different. You feel that you're not really, you're not really sold on the things we've been told. Does fortune favor the bold? Does intuition ever grow cold? Or is it always hot? <laughs> When you see what you got. When you were thinking for yes, but discovering not. I was thinking that the other day I was walking down this block and I had to stop because something in my intuition told me this is not the block you want to be going down. <laughs> It was something in the air, you know, something fishy around. And it made me want to find a nice park to ground, you know, find some nice greenery in the scenery, find some place to, you know, sit, sit myself down and really take some time. Because the track that I was heading down 
didn't feel so divine. It felt like I was going into an area that was suffocating. And I actually physically felt myself lacking breath in this certain area. And later on when I reflected on that moment that, okay, I don't feel the light in this area. I feel darkness out here. Let me go down this way. Okay, then I turned down this way. And there was more sun down that way, more light down that way. And I felt better going that way. And I asked myself, why did I feel better going that way? Was that my intuition? Was that my gut guidance? Was my gut guiding me? Right? Was that instinct? Was that intellect? Was that intelligence? Was that insight or intuition? What was that? And that's my question to you. If you've ever found or encountered yourself within a situation or a lituation, as they say today, you've been in a lituation and felt a certain amount of frustration with all the fluctuation in the air. But you started to become aware of something there. And it made you turn around. It made you go somewhere else. Because the energy in the atmosphere was very intensely felt. Was that your intuition? Was that your spirit guides? What was that? You tell me. What's going on, Tracy? Well, much love to Mika Meeks. Hey, Zyra, what's happening? It's been a minute. And shout out to the kitten monk. What's going on, Danny? What is the difference between your intellect, your intuition, your instincts, and your intuition? Is there a difference? What is the difference? Hey, I'm talking to you, Divine. Divine says she's listening. This is a conversation. <laughs> this is collaboration. This is communication. I want to hear your vibration. I want to feel you. You know, the real you, right? So let it be known. Let it be shown. You know, throw me, throw me a bone, right? <laughs> if you can feel this energy straight through the phone... I'm just on my walk, heading back home. But I wanted to ask, you know, were there times in your past where you had a feeling that started to last? That you wanted to run away from a situation real fast? Because you felt something in your gut. You might have been caught in a rut or stuck in the muck, you know, feeling like yuck. But you decided to make another choice or you decided to use your voice. And in following your intuition, you made it. You made it out. Okay, so Danny says, yes, I always get vibes from different energies and areas. Mm. See, you got to take care of you. That's what happened to me the other day in Oakland. I got a vibe when I was in a certain area. I got a vibe. I said, this is not the tribe that holds my vibe. <laughs> this is not the area with my energy signature. Maybe I need to, you know, see my way out. You remember they used to say, Hey, this is an A-B conversation. You need to see your way out. <laughs> that was the feeling that was revealing for me when the energy was not my energy. Mika says, hey, shout out to Tamika Webb. Tamika says, every time I went against my intuition, I regretted it. I listen every time now. Sheesh. Man. You know... You never want to be in that mode of regret. 
when things happen in life you did not expect mm. and when you look back and reflect and recollect and reconnect what did we get when we try to go against our intuition. Mm -mm -mm. You know, every time, right? There's even a, a, a meme about intuition. And it just says, told you so. <laughs> Signed, your intuition, right? It's just a, a blank screen. It's just like, I, 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 I told you. Your intuition be like, Tamika, Tamika, I, I, I. Ah, 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 I told you. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and you're like, okay, I'll listen this time. I'll remember. I'll remember there's a dog over there. I'll remember. I'll remember that the fence is a little bit too low and the dog can jump over the fence. I'll remember not to head that way. You know? Your intuition is... Ah, 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 I told you. What's going on? Jose Perez, Jose Perez says maybe intuition is inherently known and my intellect is gained. Mm. So intellect is something that is gained or sustained or maintained. But it's not exactly the same as the intuition game. Okay. Okay, I see you, Jose Perez. I see you. Appreciate you sprinkling a little bit of your sauce into the conversation. I, I appreciate you sprinkling your seasoning on the recipe and adding those ingredients. Mighty expedient. We need it. Danny says, I've turned around and gone another way because I knew I wasn't supposed to be going that way. Mm. Does intuition save the day when you knew you weren't supposed to go that way? Woo! Come on, somebody. It's church up in here now. Does intuition save the day when you knew you wasn't supposed to go that way? Woo! Am I talking to somebody? How many times have you gone against your own mind? rebelled against your own intuition how many times did you abort the mission hmm. how many times did you go that way instead of going that way Tracy said everything is frequency and vibration people places and things Intuition always knows when you stray too far from your base frequency. Ooh. When you stray too far from your base, do you, do you find yourself in a place? Do you find yourself out of pace? When you stray too far from your base, the things in life we don't want to face, we don't want to embrace, but we cannot erase. What happens when you stray too far from your base? Intuition come back like, ah, ah, ah. Tracy, Tracy, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Don't stray too far. Oh, man. Sometimes we, we stray a little bit too far. Divine says our gut can be manipulated. So intuition can be manipulated. But divine intelligence is straight from the source. Come on, baby. Woo! Is it church in here today? Divine is talking <laughs> while we out here walking. Divine over here talking. Shout out to divine every time. Go ahead and shine. My goodness. Hey, appreciate you, Jose. Jose Perez in the building. 
Okay, we got something from Nabiha. Yeeha Nabiha up in here. Yeeha. Nabiha has entered the chat. Best lessons are learnt when we ignore our intuitions too. Everything is energy based on frequencies. So if the vibe isn't right, we better listen. Mm, you better ask somebody. Whoo. That's what they used to say around the way. In my old neighborhood, they used to, you better ask somebody. <laughs> that was the thing. Like, shh. hey, you better ask somebody. So that's what the intuition say, huh? We better listen. Everything is energy based on the frequencies. So if the vibe ain't right, you better go left. Or you find yourself out of breath. Mm. Don't be led to your death. If the vibe ain't right, might as well go left. Let's see. Hey, shout out to Goddess. Shout out to Tati. Chrisica, Harper, much love. Hey, Louis Mesa in the building. Louis in the house. Larissa in the house. What's happening? What's happening, Captain? We just out here rapping. You know, the vibe out here slapping. <laughs> oh, man. But much love, y'all. I just really wanted to just chime in and get some time in with y'all, with the tribe. Always raising the vibe, keeping the breath alive. And thank you for sprinkling some of your seasoning, you know, letting us in on some of your reasoning. This is the time we need it today. So appreciate you for sharing in your own unique way, giving some of your perspective for the collective. You know, we need it and we receive it. So continue to speak it, continue to seek it, and we will keep rising. Stay connected like Verizon. <laughs> what they say. You won't find Wi-Fi in the forest, but you might get a better connection. But every time I tap in with y'all, I get an even better reflection. So much love to you. More power to you. And we'll catch you again soon. Take care. And ask yourself the question that Divine asked today. How your intuition might be affected in its own way. Much love. Oh, 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 oh,